Here's a look at the four things you need to know for this Friday morning. Number one, nationwide manhunt for a Minnesota grandmother and fugitive over this morning. Federal authorities captured Lewis, uh, Lois Reese in South Padre Island, Texas. Around 9 last night, authorities say an eyewitness spotted a woman matching her description that led to her arrest. Reese is suspected of killing two people, her husband here in Minnesota, and then a woman in Florida who she killed allegedly to steal her identity. She now faces multiple charges, including murder and criminal use of personal identification. Number two, prosecutors have finished the investigation into Prince's death. They decided not to file criminal charges after investigators found no evidence to charge anyone in the case. Prince fans will gather to remember the music superstar tonight. Paisley Park is hosting Prince live on the big screen at Target Center. Tomorrow marks two years since Prince was found dead of an accidental drug overdose. Number three this morning, students across Minnesota and the country are walking out of class in another push for gun control. The walkouts also coincide with the 19th anniversary of the Columbine massacre. But students there will continue their tradition of marking the anniversary with a day of service. It comes two months after the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. And number four, it's official. Herberger stores in Minnesota are closing. The parent company Bonton announced going out of business sales will begin today. Earlier this week, the company announced it would be liquidating and closing all of its stores. Herberger's has about a dozen stores in Minnesota.